What's up, friends of the good boy? This is Manny, and welcome to the Flamethrower Phantom right here, which may actually be one of the best Phantoms in the game right now, because the Flamethrowers do not only have a monstrous damage output when they hit, um, they also bypass energy shields and physical shields, so none of them matter. So you can hit an Arthur, for example, with full damage output and don't mind his shields, or a Lancelot, or a Bulgazari, or whatever you come across that has a physical shield. And then, and the biggest uh, advantage that the flamethrowers have is the fact that they have a fixed reload, right? Not a constant reload like the um, shotguns have, for example. They have great damage for a short time and then they, then they need to reload and only generate a shot every two seconds or three, right? Now these weapons here, they may have their full five seconds reload every time, but once they're having this, once after, once this is done, they're ready with all their firepower again, right? And that is what grants, grants these weapons more damage output over a longer period of time compared to the weapons that have a constant reload. And uh, this is really making the Phantom with the flamethrowers very effective. One problem is you have to lead the target with your aiming. You have to predict where he's going to run and send the flames right there to hit him well. And only then you're actually going to be doing the full and good damage, right? And that's a bit of a problem sometimes when the enemy is moving fast or has the ability to just teleport back somewhere or whatever, right? So all these things, also people with phase shift are going to be driving you nuts because phase shift people can just wait for you to send all those flames and then finally the flames arrive and that's when he activates phase shift. And then all that you, yet you have fired until that point, including the shots that are still on their way, are going to be worthless. Uh, but even, for example, a, fa a falcon uh, with traditional list, for example, this isn't a chief falcon, this is a normal falcon. But even a falcon with his resistance will still take a tremendous amount of damage from these flamethrowers simply because they do so much, right? We've also seen it on the Cerberus video where I ran the Cerberus with uh, Igniter, Igniter and uh, Ember. Immense amounts of damage and uh, and that paired with a lockdown makes this uh, flamethrower Cerberus, in my opinion, the current best Cerberus in the game. And if you haven't yet seen the video, in the upper right corner I link it for you. It's really, really worth watching in my opinion because this is the best Cerberus you can run at the moment. Oh man, I have to run away right here. There's too many guys hunting me down. <laughs> Jeez, teleporting back. Okay, now I'm in safety. I, I, I fooled them all. I started the teleport here. I went through all of them. <coughs> and when they thought I had me, I teleported to where they had no idea where I am. Now, of course, I'm now with only one weapon. It looks like the middle finger here on the weapon. Look, it's like one one weapon in the middle. It looks like the middle finger that I'm holding up here on this guy. <laughs> Too good. By the way, if you like the content, guys, and you want to see more videos and uh, get notified for them as well, then subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. Yet, Then you'll also see a little notification, um, especially when you activate the notification bell uh, when I upload the next video. Ah, see, I made the leech robot leech. This is the second phantom. With the first one, we've gotten six kills. Now it's tr time to get some more. However, this enemy is trying to not expose himself to us. And I'm actually already getting attacked by someone else. Alright, he's face shift. No, he's leeching again. Alright, already in leech mode. That was quick. So, now I would like to attack him because he just had his leech mode, but I'm immediately getting attacked by another leech who, well, a wonder, a wonder, has the leech mode. So again, no chance to attack here. Have to wait. Have to wait for the leech to be over. Alright, this guy's going down. Unfortunately, I couldn't get that kill. And now I have to reload. And you know what that means? He's now had so much time passing that I won't actually get him before he has the leech back. Since he has now the uh, phase shift, and after the phase shift, it's leech time. Alright, uh, let me go for the phantom instead. Interesting also that he also decided to go for the phantom at the same time. But now, finally we can go here and take him down. That was quite a bit of wiggling around here uh, through the minefield of leeching leeches, dude. So many leeching leeches. 
didn't make it easy for me to get to stay alive and get some kills. But now let's run and rush uh, this um, Ao Chun. He had his flight a second ago, but he's going to get the flight back in five, four, three, two, one, and I teleport back. Zip! Did you see that? He started his flight. So I was still able to make him use his, uh, his phase shift there and make him use his, uh, his, his power cells. I didn't get that kill, unfortunately, but I might be able to get the next one. It's another Ao Chun. Man, you see so many Ao Chuns and leeches in free fall. It's brutal, dude. It's absolute brutal. Here, again, I'm teleporting back as soon as I know I'm he's flying, but in this case, I was even able to get him before I teleported back, which is great. That is awesome. What do you think about the flamethrower version of Phantom? Uh, aside from the fact that you have to lead the target and, and have to aim so well in advance, I, I think this is really the only downside of it. Look how much damage I've just done to the other Phantom right there in such a short amount of time. Uh, because he ran into those flames like a boss. <laughs> he took him like a champ. And, uh, and yeah, his robot is pretty much done afterwards. Constantly teleporting back, saving me the trip to get back manually. Oh, look at that Auchun landing there. Okay. He looked like a fully intact Auchun, but turns out it was only a destroyed one. What do we have here? Someone is coming here. I'm already sending flames. And that is also a massive advantage that you have here. Wow, dude, you should have used your stealth a little bit sooner, man. Um, that's also an advantage that the flamethrower have is the fact that you can send firepower at someone who's not even there yet. You can send firepower around the corner and let him run into the flames or, you know, like Orkans did with the rockets. We call it pre-firing in, uh, in War Robots and you, or, or corner shooting, you know, corner shooting is something different. We call it pre-firing when you pre-fire a certain corner where somebody will come out of and then they will already take damage without even, um, you know, showing themselves yet. Also, it has splash damage, which is yet another advantage. No one can corner shoot you because there is splash damage on the weapon. If somebody tries to corner shoot you uh, with his weapon hanging out to the side of a wall, you can just shoot the corner and you will do the full damage to him. All right, this Auchun is having a bit of a problem there. But uh, I think, yeah, I'm also getting attacked now from the side, but it's enough to, for me to get around the corner and get this guy destroyed. Nice. Uh-oh. Well, uh, that's a problem. I'm doing as much damage as I can, but uh, he's counter healing already and I had already a weapon missing and I was at very low amount of health. Very low chance for me to win that fight. But uh, you know what? Same as he came in with full health, now I'm coming in with full health. There we go. And I'm ready for you, sir. Hi! <laughs> I don't know what he's trying to do, man. He's trying to get the kill up there. Yeah, see, because the guy has only so little health, he was trying to get that kill. Let's teleport back again, and boop, teleport activated, zip, and he started to fly. It worked again, I made him use his flight ability. Unfortunately, he still gets me for a second here, um, but that's because I want him, right? Uh, I'm, I'm offering myself as target so that he finds himself, you know, uh, forced to attack, and therefore I get the chance to shoot him afterwards. If I hadn't shown myself at all, he would have not shown up uh, and uh, or shown himself where I can hit him. Here we go. Uh huh. Face shifting. It's not going to, to be enough time for you to get another flight. He's counting on getting another flight ability, but it's not going to happen this time, man. Too much time for me to kill you. Boom. 14 kills so far. And uh, in here we are. Le okay, let's get brave. Let's make a brave move. Geronimo! Woo! Boom! And thankfully he missed me with those rockets. <laughs> that could have gone uh, very much wrong right there. Let's make him fire another shot. There it is. I want to walk backwards, but I can't. I'm stuck at the corner. Making him miss the third shot too. Every time he fires those double rockets, I'm in cover. You saw this, right? Every time I went into cover. Uh, no, another flying Ao Ming. Jesus! What's where all those Ao Ming's coming from? All right, let's go for him. Just head on. Here we go. I'm gonna take some damage here, but I have resistance and his weapons may not be fully leveled, so he doesn't bypass all the resistance here. 
And look how much damage I just did to him. You see the yellow bar from here to here? That's the damage I was able to do with a little phantom that quickly. The shotguns can't do that much damage anymore. They uh, they no longer have this kind of firepower and they never had it. They never had this much firepower to do so much damage to the Ao Ming so shortly in such a short time. That's only a weapon like the flamethrowers. When they hit perfectly, they can do this. And also, five seconds later, they have the same firepower available again. Fully available. And that makes, in my opinion, this uh, Phantom very interesting with these double flamethrowers. Uh, wait, we, we still have a match. I'm, I'm an idiot. I stopped the match here. There's still some gameplay left on the video. Whoops. I thought that was it. <laughs> I thought I've already ended. Uh, or this is the end of the video that I prepared for you here. Turns out it's not. Oh man, look at this guy. He's teleporting back immediately. He knew he noticed that I crossed into the middle of the map. If you run through the middle, you you reach the, the beacon faster uh, than you than the ones who are running running around it. And you can do be doing a lot of damage there. All right, that guy is going down. Nice. All right, we have the phantom here again that we hit before. Is he going? Yeah, he's going to the left. But the legs. See the legs making it impossible to predict. Look at the phantom. Look at the legs. And boop. He's he want he's going to the left. And I need to know that because I need to send the flames in advance. But the game doesn't tell me that he's going to the left because he lags. So he's standing still and then suddenly boop. He teleports 2 meters and that was the time that I needed in order to prepare send uh, to, to to early send the flames, you know? And that is really that is really unfortunate. The lags, I can't say it enough. I've said it in one of the recent videos already. The lags are completely out of control. Making certain weapons like uh, flamethrowers, for example, very hard to use. Uh, because you, you need to pre-aim and need to plan ahead the shots, which you cannot do against lagging opponents. Right? I'm, and maybe this is a bit of a relic from the... Uh, oh man, he just dropped his resistance there. Maybe this is a bit of a relic from the... Uh, um, uh, from the fusion of Android and iOS, maybe this is kind of a result of that, that we now have more lags. But then again, we also had massive lags, pretty much the same before they fused it. So I don't think that's necessarily because of uh, both platforms mixed and fused. Nah? Um, I think it's just uh, it's just some, something with the netcode maybe, or I can't say. I can't even begin to understand how a game like this works and how to fix lags. I'm not a developer. I have no idea how to do this. But... I'm sure someone who develops the entire game and programs all of this for us to have fun with, I'm pretty sure they are in the they have the capability to also take care of the lags, right? Whoops. So uh, yeah, Pixonic, that would be a massive thing. That would that's currently really the most frustrating and pressing issue in the War Robots that I th I think should be taken care of really soon. We're we're really soon is like super late already because we've been asking for this for years. And it's it's really on the t time to, f to get this fixed and sort it out, please. Okay, so, uh, Behemoth... I uh, know, sorry, uh, Bulwark, for example. See, sending the flames in advance, letting him run into the flames without actually exposing myself to him. Uh, and uh, there he goes. Boom. Killed. And I, I didn't even have to show myself, because I can send the flames and stay in cover from his firepower. I didn't want to fight the Leo, I wanted to fight something else, but I can't find something else to shoot at. And while the Leo was killing my teammate, I have to also take down the Leo. Oops. Nice, okay, this leech is losing his, uh, his, his robot there. Nice. Let's see if they respawn, I've already captured the beacon and there is a Cerberus. Who already lost the shield. Oh, oh and I had anti-control, that's right. Without the anti-control, he would have now done a lot of damage to me and I would have been locked down and suppressed. But uh, due to the anti-control, none of that w works and he can't actually make use of it. He cannot make use at all of the um, suppression and therefore the Cerberus gets killed really quickly. I'm trying to take down this, um, this Blitz robot, but he's actually just escaping me the whole time. He's just running around. Alright, so... Um Let's activate the resistance here and uh, hit that le uh, that blitz before he gets the ability back. This guy's running. He's booking it. Where are you running, boy? Uh-oh. Look, we're down to very low amount of HP and there's a full shotgun... Uh, um, what's it called? 
uh, Ravana, a full shotgun Ravana in front of us with all his abilities ready. I almost brought him down to 4 to 30% health already, man. Despite the low health that we had, but yeah. Nah, he's shortly before last end. But this was a lost cause from the beginning, man. With these shotguns ending up right in front of me with low health, not much I can do. Um, but yeah, so that was the flamethrower phantom. I hope you liked the, the video and uh, the setup. Tell me what you think. In my opinion, this is literally one of the best phantoms right now. Maybe in the top, top two. Because the first one would be Atomizer and, uh, and Quarker, right? Quarker and Atomizer will be better because they have 500 meters range, can do more damage at that range even, and they have unlimited damage at short range um, without ever having to reload. So um, I guess Atomizer and Quarker will be even better. Uh, but shortly after that, I think the Flamethrower would be the next. What do you think? Tell me. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and comment down below. And if you haven't already, hit subscribe as brutal as a man can hit for more. Thanks for bearing with me. You guys are awesome as always. Money Gaming signing off. Bye-bye.